for some reason the camera is freaking out about my my neon green shirt. Okay. Uh, I look like some sort of like I don't know, like an eighties music video where they they're transported into the computer. Oh, it's like a psychedelic like green screen. Yeah, it's like fuzzy. I don't okay. know. Why. It's cool though. I have, a, I have like some sort of electronic man now. I've really I've reached transcendence. I think is is what's <laughs> happened, and now I am I'm one with technology. That's my assumption, at least. I I'm not really sure what is going. Oh, yep. No idea. Anyway. All right, hey guys, Steve Utowski here, back with another episode of Games and Guns. This time I have Lee Doran with me uh, from the, the great channel How the World Works. And um, we're going to be playing a little bit of this indie game called uh, Gun Monkeys and talking a little bit about conservatives and new media. How you doing, Lee? Good, how are you? Thanks for having me. Are you ready to for my future monkey to kill you? Yeah, I guess so. I've never played this game before, but it looks uh, looks pretty interesting. It actually looks really cool. It's like five dollars on Steam. Cubes are being pulled towards you and repelled from your opponent. The backstory is really odd. It's like um, something about perpetual motion in the future destroyed the world, but but uh, but there's that's what these little blue boxes are like perpetual motion, and so okay, you're like part of a oh, I just killed you. Oh, uh, looks like you got me. That was awesome. That was actually pretty cool. You're, you're like a, the CEO of a power company from the past. Okay. And you send monkeys into the future to collect. Oh, so you read the whole backstory and everything. Yeah, I watched like the little video. Five dollar game. for Actually, for two copies. So, you can't really beat that. What's like your game if, if you were to play something? Um, hmm. That's a good question. Probably the best game I've played in recent memory is... Uh, <laughs> is uh, The Last of Us, I guess? Oh, poor monkey. You killed me. You killed my monkey. I will get revenge. But uh, Last of Us, probably. In recent, recent memory. Oh, dear. What I've been playing recently uh, on my in my free time is Plants vs. Zombies, actually. Garden War. Okay. They're down to minimum health. Finish them off. Shoot them in the face! Yeah. Shoot them in the oh. face with a gun! <laughs> That's it! What about you? Um, I've always been into, like, the, um... Lay mines somewhere sensible. Don't worry. The game's growing up where you, like, build lives. your base, and then, like, the, the old-school, like, War Warcraft games before it was, like, Warcraft Online and, and uh, yeah. those type of things. Was, I, I was always interested too. when I was younger. Like, but uh, I haven't really played that much, uh, recently. I do yeah. play a lot of chess, though. Somehow you won. And I lost ten dollars. You know what else I've been playing a lot of is Broforce. I played that okay. a couple of weeks, a couple episodes ago. That okay. game's really cool. It's really fun. Die, die! Come on, monkey. Get, yes, yes. See, it die, seems die. to give you like a. Oh, I lost that one. Yes, yes. Broforce is pretty sweet. It's like a throwback, eight pixel type game. Okay. Like, <laughs> He's got no arms. Like a uh, tank wars look, type no thing. No arms, no oh, arms. He's defenseless. Take advantage so, while you can. I don't, have a, I don't have a gun. What happened? Yeah, I, I picked up like a special and it took away your arms. This is pretty cool. It's a pretty cool game. It's very stylized. It could have better mechanics, I guess. You can do double jumps and stuff, but. Yeah, somehow you can jump out the air, I guess. Yeah, but other than that, I, like, it could be a little bit better for five bucks. This is pretty cool. And I just killed your your monkey self, so pretty good. So why don't we talk a little bit about uh, the state of conservatives in new media while I try to avoid you? Okay. <laughs> well, I mean, as you know, I mean, I started you know doing YouTube, and it kind of still is. It was just a hobby of mine. Yeah. Um, I was bored one day, thought it would be fun to just you know make a couple of videos, and it uh, people seem to like it. And the the cool thing is is that with with YouTube, it's you, the thing I like about it, you have no gatekeepers, meaning that there's you don't have to get necessarily get approval by somebody else to kind of get your voice out there, and so it's just if you can develop your own audience and uh, people appreciate what you do, you can you can have a, have your own voice uh, without necessarily going to a publisher or anything like that. Not that I'm against you know going to a publisher, but there's there's kind of a you know open forum and people can you know vote with. You know, whoever they just enjoy watching. Yeah, I mean, you've, you've, uh, I, oh, by the way, I won. 
Yes, you did. So we're even. So. Yeah, you figured out how to take my gun away. That was. I uh, did. That was. It awesome. made it a little bit challenging, not <laughs> actually having any ability to fight back. <laughs> you've been very successful on YouTube. Uh, with a lot, you've done a lot of uh, I think the critique videos that you do, where there's like some sort of liberal viral video, and then you'll go through and critique it step by step. First of all, those are awesome. I think those are great videos. I always share them whenever, uh, whenever you put a new one out. I appreciate and, um, it. I just wish, truthfully, I had more time to put together the longer videos because I do see a lot of videos or even articles or, or blogs that I'd like to critique, and I could go make a quick vid uh, make a critique video out of those, not necessarily quick. And it seems like people prefer those type of videos to my other videos, but I just like to keep generating content, which is why that. Right. Uh, well, that's an important thing to do with a YouTube channel, right? You have to. It's important to keep generating content so that your subscribers stay engaged. Exactly, and that, that's the biggest challenge. Uh, you know, some people have been able to make a living out of it. A lot of the larger channel, channels out there, right. uh, they can make a you know even a very very good lucrative uh, living. Sure, some uh, of them are making millions by now. Oh yeah, point, yeah, definitely, definitely, uh, because they they produce content all the time, and now they have teams of people behind them producing uh, professional videos. It's very challenging, and, right. you know, but for, for me, it's it's still a hobby, and so I, I wish I could spend more time doing it, but it's it's fun when I'm able to actually have an impact. Um, I've had some of my videos, and, you know, I find out later they show up in classrooms around the country, and it wasn't even my intention, but they end up getting in, so that's fun. That's impressive. What do you think the challenges are for conservatives on, on YouTube, or, uh, like, what have you run into, since you, you're probably one of the more popular conservative channels on YouTube. At this I, I point. think I think the biggest challenge is that people are let the perfect uh, be the enemy of the good and that they will delay uploading videos, delay putting out content, hesitate to actually produce something because they think they have to make it the best video, the perfect video. Right. But they wouldn't do that for a lot of their blogs. A lot of their blogs they understand that okay well, I'm gonna put out a blog post or I'm gonna generate regular content. Those are the bloggers who generally get a lot of presence, people just don't do that with YouTube and so there's just less of us out here because we're not creating. Um, I spoke to Kira Davis uh, several years ago before she started making YouTube videos and, and she said, you know, do I have any advice for her? And I said, look, just turn on the camera, hit record and start talking. Mm -hmm. And she started doing that and it's very, worked out very, very well for her and I'm glad she did that. Um, because a lot of people are just afraid to kind of see themselves on video. They're worried about, oh, my, you know, is my hair cut right, or is, you know, makeup or anything like that. Is that is that perfect? This is not, you know, television, and you can generate your own, you know, audience and very large audience without necessarily being perfectly, uh, you know, sculpted with everything. You know, when you when you go out there and or even scripted. Um, I don't write any script uh, when I make my videos. I just turn on the camera and talk, and that's what's made it. Uh, kind of more real to the to the audience, you know, sure. where I can kind of compete with people that, or corporations, in fact, that want to script an entire content, and I can just upload a video with with just hitting record. What are your thoughts as far as like the political makeup of YouTube? Do you think that the same holds true? If, uh, you know what you said about relying too much on getting it perfect and not not being well, able to. Well, you, I mean, YouTube does that certainly hold to the left? YouTube certainly leans left. Um, just overall, and a lot of it's because you have a very high uh, inter international audience, which generally skews left. So you're dealing with not just the United States; you're dealing with uh, the entire world. You're, you know, also have a, a much younger crowd that uses it, which also skews, you know, slightly left. And that's kind of been the case for many years. Sure. Uh, people tend to, you know, get more conservative as they get older. I think. Oh, you, you don't know, have arms again. Come here. Oh. Come here. Ow. Come back here. I wonder what happens if I get your gun. Oh, crap. oh there. Yeah, it'll work. I can actually get your gun. It's it's just the the demographics of, of YouTube to begin with. And so... Whoa. Ah! A double Look kill. Look at that head go! The, the only way for conservatives or libertarians to really compete is just to actually just continue to put out content. And we don't see a lot of it. We see a lot of it in blogs. We see a lot of it on Twitter. Uh, well... Right. I think we're yeah, lacking. That's, that was the point I was going to make. Um, I mean, I certainly YouTube is skewed to the left. I think, as far as uh, even though I don't, I don't think there's a ton of political, like specifically political 
content on YouTube. This laser yeah. can shoot through oh, walls, so use it from a, a distance. Past. You oh. need to be pretty level to score one. a hit. That was pretty sweet. I had like a sniper rifle, and I blew off your head with it. Beyond like the Young Turks, I don't think there's a ton of really, really popular political YouTube stuff going on. There isn't, with the exception that it is, it is occasionally brought into a lot of other uh, videos. So, right. for example, right. you'll have you'll have entertainment channels that will talk about you know. Maybe it's 90% they're not talking politics, but it's that 10% when they'll all of a sudden put out a political statement or talk about some type of public policy, and it's not going to be from a conservative perspective. The other point I guess I was going to make about Twitter um, is that it, you, you, would, you would think that the, the same sort of pattern would hold for Twitter as it does for YouTube, but, but it doesn't really. I mean, there's a lot more conservatives and a lot more liberal libertarians on Twitter uh, than on something like YouTube, and I, I just I guess I just don't really understand why that is. I, mean, I, I think because I think because there's it's a time issue, and there's no fear of well, there's three points. It's a time issue. It doesn't take very long to post 140 characters. Right. And it's a much also lower barrier of entry, sure. And also, it's it's seen as a social network where. I know where I know who's out there. I know who already agrees with with my opinion. You can find people who are are you know are like minded and use it actually as a social network. YouTube is just as much a social network, but you just don't have the type of unity, if you can call it that, that you would have on Twitter. And then, you know, the the other issue that I see is you know people just generally aren't afraid to kind of tweet all day long. Sure. Where with YouTube. You don't see you. You will see people very comfortable making their own vlogs, but they just don't happen to be from a conservative or libertarian perspective. So they're constantly putting out content. They see it as social network. On the opposite side, on Twitter, you'll you'll see people. There's no fear of constantly tweeting, constantly putting out content, constantly you know interacting with people. You just don't see that on YouTube. No, no. When I say don't see that, I'm not I'm not um, saying it doesn't exist. I mean, you you've seen people like you know. Crowder and all, and a bunch of sure, other people like Kira Davis that I've already mentioned. And right. There are a lot of other people, um, token libertarian girl. There, there are a lot of there are a lot of people who are out there who are generating uh, content, but in the grand scheme of all the videos on YouTube, it doesn't really create a massive movement in the sense that it would or an impact that it would as it does on Twitter. All right. Let's go for one more rematch. What? So, what do you recommend to I don't know, someone like me? I guess who's uh, just trying to break into the YouTube community. Um, I mean, I think you have to find people who are already in agreement out there on, on YouTube and let them know you're out here. Because oh, it, the hardest tragedy. thing is, you know, once they find you, then they can subscribe and, and continue to come back. And another thing is to let them, let them know that you're going to continue to produce content. I think we're in space right now. Monkeys in space. Seems to be we're it. In, like, Something just happened. And things keep blowing up around us. And I killed myself earlier. <laughs> by accident. Suicidal oh, Space oh, Monkeys. Oh, you got me. Suicidal Space Monkeys, that should be a band. Now, how does this work? Like, at the beginning when it starts, it looks like you get stuck as a character and it takes yeah, like, like but... I blew myself up again. Oh yeah, so you can, I forgot that there's like a bomb option. I don't know, I think you might have to be above the person or something yeah. like that. Yeah, for some reason at the beginning you get sort of stuck. I don't really know why. Let's try the bomb thing. Um, oh, oh, that was a bomb. I myself with my own bomb again. They got you with a bomb. I'll do that again. I want to kill. Suicidal space monkey. Die, 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 die. Oh, you won. Dang it. Seems like a pretty decent game. Like a one-on-one -on -one stylized multiplayer space monkey future time travel shooter hold on one second my dog is sure. my dog's a puppy and i'm training her and uh she just she just was a really good girl she just went to the bathroom on her pad oh. good girl lily very good girl <laughs> that was excellent see this is also a it's also um an, an animal show now so we're really we're combining a lot of uh things together news Politics, gaming, animal training. We'll break the tie now. We'll See, this, this is her. 
Whoever wins is the Gun Monkey Champion. You can, you can see her. Oh, hold on. Oh, there she is. Hi. She's cute. That's a cute puppy. What kind of uh, dog is that? It's a Caton de Tulliar. Oh, fancy. Well, let's get back to monkey slaughter. Um, last question for you. Sure. Um, do you think that conservatives can have the kind of uh, impact and influence and success that they've had on Twitter and, and maybe and Facebook um, to some degree on YouTube? Do you think it's Oh, possible? absolutely. Absolutely. I mean, one of the ways that it could be done is with an attempt to put out uh, regular entertainment shows or anything like that or collaboration uh, between people who are not normally on YouTube to go on YouTube more often and start putting out content. Right. If you look at Vox, for example, uh, Ezra Klein's new, new outfit, their YouTube channel has essentially zero views. It's something that I've, I've noticed because I, I just pay attention to this type of stuff. They get like maybe, you know, it's very, very small. Me being bored one day is you know, and just making a 10 minute video is going to get more views than their videos that they put a lot of time in. If I put a lot of time in a video, I will crush almost all their videos that are out there. And I, when I say that, I'm not even one of the largest people on YouTube. I'm just saying just me actually putting a little bit of effort in. And yet these people have funding. You know, I don't I don't have funding for, for my channel. Some people might, you know, contribute because they're nice and they might want to donate a sm small amount to me, mm -hmm. you know, 10 bucks or something like that. But I don't have the type of you know, capital behind it like Vox does, and yet they can't do it. I'm telling you right now, if people actually started investing in these type of products, there's no question that we could actually have a large presence and people started actually creating the content. For a lot of people, this isn't their full-time job, and so they don't don't decide to have time to, to do it, and it, it does take a lot of time. All right. Well, thanks for coming on. We appreciate it. No you problem. You beat me at, what is it, Gun Monkeys? Yeah, I think I think that's what Gun it is. Gun monkeys, you dominated me. Well, it was close, but you you win. It, it was close. You won. It's a pretty cool game, though. I actually really enjoyed it. Appreciate it. I'll have to do some let's plays. But thanks for coming on. Thanks for giving us your expertise. Um, and hopefully, we can have you on again uh, sometime in the future. You bet. See you later. Take care. Hey guys, thanks for watching this week's episode with uh, Lee Doran. Uh, if you want to check out Lee's channel, see some of his awesome videos, you can uh, just click right, right about here. So, like, yeah, right there. Uh, if you want to see last week's episode with uh, Kevin Glass, where uh, we played Metal Slug 3, a classic, you can uh, click right here. So, um, yes, these videos. Click them. Also, if you... Um, would like a free copy of Broforce. Not everybody has claimed theirs yet, so just make sure you subscribe and uh, the first people to claim the last three copies I have uh, will, will win. So that's another fun thing you can do. Just click the little subscribe button. It's, um, it's on this page somewhere. I don't, I don't have the mechanics of this down yet. It's probably, uh, it's a, a, I don't know. It's just, it says subscribe, it's red. Just find it, click it and you could win a free copy of Broforce. So thanks guys, I'll see you next Thursday. Every Thursday we got a new episode, so make sure you tune in.